Hey there. Welcome to the course overview video in this new series here on differential equations. I'm very excited to be getting into this, this new series here. And every video series always starts off with this type of video, which is kind of just a short video summarizing what is going to, to be covered in the overall video series. Kind of like a, a table of contents for the video series. And each of these course overview videos, if this is the first one that you're watching, gets split into two main parts. The first being the prerequisites. In other words, what do we need to know in order to understand the content in this video series? And then the second is the course outline, which is covering pretty much the, the, the primary sections um, that, that we're gonna be going through in the, the video series. So, so let's just go through those, those two parts. First part is the prerequisites, and we've written here that linear algebra is highly recommended. But before we even talk about that, I want to just mention sort of the, the assumed prerequisite that I'm not explicitly writing, which is calculus. This channel is intended to be covering math and physics topics that are taught typically once we are, have already taken calculus. And because of that, I'm not going to write that calculus is a, a prerequisite for, for these videos. Usually I'll, I'll actually just do the opposite. I'll, I'll specifically mention if calculus is not required to understand a certain topic. But calculus is 100% required to understand differential equations. If we're unfamiliar with what a differential equation is, it is simply a type of equation that contains a function and some derivative of that function. And both of those need to be contained within the equation to be considered a differential equation. So derivatives, of course, are inherently calculus-based concepts, and we would need to understand what a derivative is in order to, obviously, to, to understand what differential equations are. Now, in, in this video series, again, we're not gonna be covering calculus, but there is a, a problem set, the first problem set out of the four that I'll be linking in the, the description that is kind of like a calculus overview, which covers kind of just the basics of differentiation and integration for single variable functions. So if, if you're unsure of, if you have the, the background, the calculus background, and the, again, the single variable calculus background, then I, I'd recommend checking out the the first problem set and just trying to work through some of the problems. I, I've done it myself and, and I think it's a good, uh, they provide a good summary of all the concepts that you would need to know. Okay, so first thing, we wanna make sure that we understand calculus. Second one that I explicitly wrote out here is linear algebra, which is highly recommended. I say highly recommended and not required because you could probably understand around 75 to 80% of the material that we have here if you've never taken linear algebra before. So, so you would be okay and you would definitely get the gist for, for the majority of what's going on if, if you've never taken linear algebra. That being said though, in order to, to say that linear algebra is just not required would, would just not be giving the, the full picture for things. Hopefully, if, if you are familiar with linear algebra, you're familiar with the fact that it often gets used to simultaneously solve systems of linear equations. And what we're gonna see in this outline right here is that one of these bottom sections ends up talking about systems of differential equations. And what we're gonna be primarily interested in here are these systems of linear differential equations. So once we get to here, the, the, the kind of the language in which we express these systems is in terms of linear algebra. We're also going to be talking about eigenvalues, eigenvectors, eigenfunctions, and things along those lines um, throughout the video series. And I'm just going to assume that you have heard of those terms before. Again, if you haven't, it's not going to be the end of the world. You're, you'll still be able to, to follow along through, through most of it, but just know that I'm going to be teaching this under the assumption that, that we have taken linear algebra previously. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Those are gonna be the, the, the prerequisites for, for the video series. Then before we get into the outline too, I wanna just quickly mention 
the, the big overall scope of differential equations. What should we be trying to get out of the video series? Because previously, in each of the three prior video series, which has been numbers and sets, linear algebra, and group theory, they have those topics have all ranged from kind of a, a, a midpoint between pure math and applied math to just far on the pure math end of the spectrum. But differential equations is going to be the first video that leans more towards the applied math side of the spectrum, that at least that we're, we're putting up here on, on the channel. And because this is a more of a, an applied math topic, the overall goals for, for what we're trying to accomplish are just fundamentally different than what we would be trying to accomplish in a pure math topic. Or at least there, some of the goals are fundamentally different. Obviously, we're trying to understand math regardless, right? But <laughs> when it comes to, to pure math, we're, we're often interested in proving things to understand an overall structure for, for whatever mathematical topic we're, we're interested in. Like, for example, with groups, we are often proving statements and, and establishing theorems to understand the overall structure of the algebraic object called a group. And if you were to look at linear algebra from a more pure point of view, you could argue that what we were doing in the linear algebra video series was trying to understand the overall structure of the vector space and elements within the vector space, as well as functions that map between them, right? But, but what, I, I don't want to get on too much of a tangent with that. For, for more applied math type courses, which is what we're going to be doing here, we're not as interested in proving things to understand some overall structure. We are interested in understanding the structure, but we're more interested in saying, how can we actually do things in terms of differential equations? How can we actually solve differential equations so they can be used for other areas of, of study besides just math itself? Okay, so, so that's gonna be the main goal, is, is trying to understand how to actually solve different types of these differential equations. And because of that, a lot of the, the, the videos are gonna contain slightly less proofs and slightly more examples, because it's, it's the, just the focus is gonna be a little bit different. Okay. So, so hopefully that, that makes sense, and that, that's just gonna be a fundamental um, slight difference than what we've been doing previously. Now, let's go on to the outline. Right? First thing that we're gonna be looking at are these first order differential equations. These are equations that contain both a function and the first derivative of that function. What we're gonna see here is that we're going to first categorize different types of differential equations. And we're gonna start with the simplest case, or arguably one of the most simple cases, which are homogeneous linear differential equations with constant coefficients. They're kind of like these three sets of training wheels, three ways that we can make a differential equation easy to solve. And we're going to first learn how to solve those types of equations. Then, as the, the section progresses, we're going to progressively take those training wheels off. We're going to say, what happens if we have a non-homogeneous first-order differential equation? What happens if all of a sudden the, the coefficients are no longer constants? And then finally, we're going to get to the kind of the biggest generalization. What if we're not now working with these non-linear first-order differential equations? So that's the rough idea for, for this first section. As we move to the second section on second order differential equations, these are just equations which contain a function, possibly the first derivative of that function, but more importantly, the second derivative of that function. And we're gonna go through a similar process as, as we did right here, by, by starting with some simple cases and then slowly taking off the training wheels, looking at some generalizations. I should mention too that in these first couple of sections, not only are we going to look at continuous differential equations, but we're going to be looking at their finite counterparts, which are called difference equations as well. So just understanding how to solve these, these fundamental types of equations is, is the, the main goal for these first two sections. Then we're going to start to move into what are called series solutions to differential equations. This is based around the idea that a, a function can be, at least sometimes, can, can be written out as a Taylor series about a certain point. 
And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at Taylor series of functions at different points, classifying those points into both ordinary and singular points and, and, and understanding what that means, and then being able to, to take those, those, those Taylor series solutions, or, be, or I should say, be able to take those uh, Taylor series uh, ways of representing the function and use those as solutions for a differential equation. So if, if, if that uh, sounds a little bit unfamiliar right now, that's okay, that's what we're gonna be getting into. Um, just really utilizing the idea that you're able to express a function as a Taylor series and hence the solution of a differential equation as a Taylor series. Then the next sort of big idea is kind of encapsulated in these two bullet points right here. Everything that we've done in the first, or that we're gonna do in the first three bullet points all deals with a single, um, one specific differential equation. But once we get to this point, we say, okay, we have a pretty good idea of how to solve one differential equation. How about we solve multiple differential equations? How about we solve systems of differential equations? And it turns out that in order to understand systems of differential equations, we first need, well, linear algebra. <laughs> but, but second, it's useful to have some additional uh, mathematical tools at our disposal. And the, the fundamental idea is, or the fundamental tool that we're gonna be working with is the directional derivative. How to take the derivative of a function along a certain direction. That might be something that is uh, potentially new to us. So we're gonna introduce this kinda as just uh, giving us all the tools that we're gonna need to solve systems of differential equations. And then we're gonna first solve those systems, and then second, we're going to be able to kind of just understand visually what the, si the solutions to these systems look like. We're gonna be looking at these things called critical points and classifying their, their stability. And we'll see a lot, of, uh, a lot of applications at this point, a lot of um, instances where it's like, okay, this is where we can really see uh, the power of differential equations uh, being used in other areas of study. And then finally, the, the, the last thing, we're just going to introduce kind of this, this, whole, uh, you could, this whole rabbit hole that you can go down. Um, these things called partial differential equations. Now, everything up until this point deals with these things called ordinary differential equations. These are differential equations uh, which include a function and the derivative of that function, but something that we kind of didn't mention is that that function is a single variable function. Maybe you have f of x or y of t, or it's just some function that depends on one variable. But what you could also do is you could also have differential equations which depend on multiple variables, you could have multivariable functions. And when you have differential equations of multivariable multi functions, you inherently have these, these partial differential equations. And we're just gonna, get introduced to a couple of fundamental type of partial differential equations. We're gonna look at the heat or diffusion equation, we're gonna look at the wave equation, and not sure if we're gonna look at the Laplace slash Poisson's equation, but just kind of get an introduction to say, okay, this is what is out there. These are a couple basic solutions to partial differential equations, but really the, the details of, of this final area right here would have to get saved for another video series. Partial differential equations is a really fun topic, um, and, and you can cover partial differential equations in multiple subsequent video series. Um, so we're kind of just gonna say like, this is what is out there at the next level beyond the ordinary differential equation. Okay. So that is the, the outline. Hopefully that makes sense, um, and, and that this is uh, what we're gonna be covering. I am, I'm personally very, very excited. I, I, I love differential equations, so I'm, I'm more than ready to start making videos on this. But yeah, uh, hopefully this, this, sounds, this sounds interesting and um, yeah, hopefully I see you guys in the upcoming video series. Thanks.